Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In this video, I'm going to show you some more new features of my climate tool and how they can be used to verify claims made by the press. The first thing we're going to do is go to RealClimateTools.com. Next, we're going to click on Daily Station Temperatures. Now we're going to select Ohio. And now we're going to select the city of Hillsborough. What you're seeing here is a graph of all 46,596 daily maximum temperatures recorded at Hillsborough since 1893. The average daily maximum temperature at Hillsborough since then has been 63.18 degrees Fahrenheit. For this video though, I just want to look at days over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to enter 90 for the minimum Y value. You can see that Hillsborough has had 1,663 days over 90 degrees Fahrenheit since 1893. Now I'm going to click the trend box so we can see the trend line shown in blue. As you can see, the frequency and intensity of hot days at Hillsborough has sharply declined since the 19th century. Now let's look and see if we see the same trend at other stations in Ohio. I'm going to click on the lock box to keep the axes from moving. Now let's look at each station in Ohio. We see the same downward trend at Bucyrus, but there's a problem with our display. Their hottest temperature in 1918 is off scale. So I'm going to enter 115 degrees for a maximum Y. Now we can see their hottest temperature of 111 degrees on August 7th, 1918. Next, let's look at Cadiz. We see the same downwards trend in the number of hot days. Chippewa Lake, we see the same downwards trend. I'm just going to quickly go through all the other United States Historical Climatology Network stations in Ohio, and you can see the data for yourself. It's pretty clear that the trend in hot days in Ohio is sharply downwards. Now let's go back and take a closer look at Hillsborough. I'm going to reset the zoom so we can see all of the data points recorded there. Now we're going to find the year when Hillsborough had the most days above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. First we're going to select most days above. Then we're going to enter 90 degrees for our search criteria. And to complete the search we're going to click on the search button. In 1895, Hillsborough had 82 days above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, with the first hot day occurring on May 2nd. Their last 90 degree day in 1895 occurred on September 25th, when they reached 94 degrees. 1895 was the longest summer on record at Hillsborough, Ohio. Now let's compare 1895 to this year, when Hillsborough only had 12 days over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The U.S. government says this was the third hottest summer on record in the United States, but it's pretty clear that wasn't the case in Ohio. As we've already seen, there's been a sharp downwards trend in 90 degree days at Hillsborough, Ohio since the 19th century. Now let's take a look at what the New York Times has to say about this topic. The New York Times has this webpage, How much hotter is your hometown than when you were born? I entered Hillsboro, Ohio into their form, and now I'm going to enter the earliest year which they allow, which is 1920. This message comes up. Our data set only goes back to 1960, when Hillsboro, Ohio could expect about 18 days per year to reach at least 90 degrees. As we've already seen, the official U.S. government temperature records for Hillsboro go back to the year 1893. So we can already see that the New York Times is hiding a lot of hot years from the past. Next, the New York Times shows this graph, which makes it look like the number of 90 degree days in Hillsboro is increasing. And of course, the graph begins in 1960. Then the New York Times goes on to project a huge increase in the number of 90 degree days at Hillsboro, Ohio throughout the rest of the century. We know from the actual data that their graph is fraudulent and is the exact opposite of the real trend at Hillsboro. So let's try hiding all the data before 1960 and see what comes up. Even after hiding all the hot temperatures at Hillsboro prior to 1960, the trend in 90 degree days is still downwards. 
Like essentially everything else the New York Times writes about, the graph of Hillsborough is fraudulent. This graph shows the percent of days above 90 degrees Fahrenheit per year at all United States historical climatology network stations since 1895. It's pretty clear why the New York Times is hiding all the data prior to 1960. Prior to 1960, summer afternoons in the United States were much hotter. The New York Times has an agenda to frighten the readers about the burning of fossil fuels. The actual data doesn't support their fear-mongering, so they alter the existing data set, and they use scientifically baseless models predicting a hot future. Nothing in the New York Times story had any basis in reality. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the New York Times scamsters for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Curie, Caesar, Toki, and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.